campaign work in the context of a group. And that, that's really looking back over my career, what I do. So it's not like I put, I put the project together with any big intentions. It, it's been kind, kind of going, once a year we do a club tour. It was to promote a couple of albums we released on Mask. But everybody enjoyed it so much. You know, we just keep it going. You know, they all ring me up, is March on this year? And I just say yes, whether it is or not. We did a few festivals um, a couple of years ago and uh, Simon McBride had a couple of days off so we just went in rehearsal room and came up with a load of ideas and um, you know piecemeal you know three days here two days there one day here with Carl you know whoever's available we've just put an album together and it, it's come out as a band uh, much to my surprise and delight I mean, the, the, the main difference is that, that there's not so much Hammond on this new album. I, you know, I've tried to do uh, a lot more Mook synthesizer, which hasn't really featured, doesn't feature much with Purple. And of course, it's one of my great loves, so there's plenty of Moog on it. it. It's a bit more proggy, how can I put it? The, the, there's, it's a, it? There's stretches where it's given over to the instrumental players. You know, um, I really wanted to feature Simon, who um, I find quite a, a discovery. I've known him about five or six years, and it was really great for me to get him in the studio and, you know, come on now. And, and to say to him, I didn't like that, because I don't think anybody said that to him before. And uh, I made him dig deep, and God, he's come up with the goods. Uh, same with um, John Finnegan, the drummer. I think he found himself in a situation to which he wasn't used, very much used to, and he, he really came, came out fighting, you know. And of course, um, I've got one of the greatest bass players on the planet, you know, Lawrence Cotley. He's just somebody I've worked with for 30 years. He's like a rock. When he walks in the studio, you know you're going to be on, because he'll just see it through, make it happen. So. It, it, was, uh, it was a different thing to Purple. Um, it doesn't quite have that heavy rock edge. There's more of a gentle edge to it here and there, but um, it's, it's just a band trying to be a band. You know? I think that's the hardest thing to do. It's easy to do a solo album where, you know, all keyboards and, you know, even I don't want to hear that. You know, what do I, I want to hear guitar. You know? 